I'm going to show you a service called Dropbox today, uh, which is in front of me on the screen now. What Dropbox is essentially is free cloud storage. Um, obviously, the world is moving towards the cloud rather than local storage because local storage is good and everything, and it's nice to have all your stuff in one place. But putting stuff on the cloud and being able to pull it from the internet uh, to your mobile device or your computer is much better and more convenient because it's like a sort of hard drive that you never have to take with you. It's always there. Um, so that's what Dropbox is, and that's what they've advertised as, your files anywhere. So basically you sign up, and you get 2 gigabytes of free storage. That's a lot of free storage if you're looking just to do um, documents or pictures. If you're looking for videos and stuff like that, it's... Uh, bit small and there are obviously other solutions that you can pay for which are a lot better. In fact Dropbox you can buy more um, storage if, if you want to but 2 gigs is all you need f uh, if you're a, a low end user. I'll show you what I use mine for anyway in a second. But basically you sign up for free. Um, there's no bandwidth limits so if, if you give the download link to um, uh, a friend, sorry, wipe that then, give the download link to a friend um, and they download it uh, and then pass it on to another friend. There's no bandwidth limit. They won't limit how quickly your files download. Um, and you can share with your friends with one link. So you just upload something to Dropbox. Maybe it's a picture, and then you can copy the link, put it on Facebook, and then it will obviously download uh, to whoever clicks on the link from uh, where you've put it. Um, you also got Dropbox Mobile. Now this is uh, what I was going to show you here. It's the mobile app for Dropbox so you can have it on your iPad, your iPhone, your Android device, uh, your Blackberry as well and all your stuff is synchronized here and also on your computer and anywhere online because it's the cloud basically it just pulls it from the cloud and puts it on your device for you and that's free as well it's a free app and obviously it's all encrypted and safe for you. Now the main uh, reason it's it's good is obviously because it's like a, a USB stick if you look up here on my menu bar, I've got the Dropbox logo there. If I click on it, it gives you information about Dropbox. So we can open my Dropbox folder. So it's like basically um, a separate hard drive on my computer. And I can literally just drag and drop stuff into it. And it will start uploading for me like that. And you can see I've split it into many folders. I will go over what they are in a second. These three are just pictures here. So if I click on this picture, you'll open up in full size. This is Best Buy in um, Bristol. And I can also go on my phone, and it's on my phone as well, the same picture, uh, which is really cool to have it all in one place and be able to view it whenever, wherever you want, basically. Um, the folders that end in love, so Lee and Alex love and Ryan and Alex love, are shared folders between two uh, Dropbox users. I'm Alex. Um, this one is my friend Lian. If we click in it, uh, there's nothing there at the moment, but we share um, PDFs and uh, songs and files like that through there so I don't have to give him a link that's in my public folder but I can just share to him directly and it will update on his computer uh, without him having to prompt or anything it just does it by itself and same with Ryan and Alex I did have a video in there but it's gone now um, you've also got public folder which is this one here and anything you put in here um, you can share by right clicking go into Dropbox and then copy the public link and then you can copy that link and basically put it on Twitter, put it on Facebook, email it to a friend and they'll be able to view it as well. Um, I've also got a few other folders here so you've got um, Pixelpipe which is an app for the iPhone uh, which uploads um, multiple images. Now the Dropbox app didn't used to um, upload multiple images but now it does so I don't need Pixelpipe anymore but the folder is still there anyway. Um, I've also got PKG Backup which is another iPhone related thing because I'm jailbroken, I have bought an app called PKG Backup, um, which I can open up now. And what it does is back up my whole jailbreak for me and any apps and any um, iPhone related things I have on here. It will back it all up. There you go, it's scanning packages now. And it will send my backup to my Dropbox. So if anything ever goes wrong with my phone, I can literally restore it reinstall PKG backup and it will upload all the information from Dropbox straight to the phone and I can do a backup now, hit do backup, it backs it all up and then it says uploading to Dropbox and it does it all for me and in a second you should be able to see in the top right corner uh, there'll be some activity going on which um, will be my phone working so I'll just let that go in the background for now and you can see here 
there we go it's uh, updating live now so stuff's being sent across and it comes up on the screen to notify you that stuff is happening I've also got another app called Thinkbook and Thinkbook is a note taking app and at the moment I've got nothing on there but I'll show you it on my iPad you can sync your Thinkbook account to Dropbox and then hit backup and it will send the backup to Dropbox um, of all your notes that you've taken and as it's uploading it now it should do it seamlessly it should appear in the folder there um, it's a really good service to have because not only is it free for two gigs um, but if you uh, recommend friends and, and family to it and give them a certain link they can also get extra storage you can both get extra storage so for example in my description down there I put a link which is my referral link and if you click on it you'll get your Dropbox account with two gigabytes of data but you'll also get an extra I think it's 250 megabytes of data so you basically get 2.2 gigabytes of data which is uh, good a good start and then you can share your link with your friends and your family and uh, get as much data as you want and as you can see on my screen now Thinkbook has backed up um, its information for me here so if I ever uh, deleted the app they would still be on my Dropbox um, it doesn't take too long to upload stuff so for example if I upload um, this PDF file here into my public folder which is drag and drop and then it will start syncing and then we can look up on the menu bar and it tells you uh, what it's doing so it's indexing one file at the moment and now it's uploading it at 40 kilobytes per second so there's about three minutes left and it will upload that you can exit that fine you can go do other stuff um, and it will upload it all for you even though I've got another backup going on here I had a third backup up there so it's sort of seamless cloud storage for you. You don't have to use it for um, storage. You can use it for what I use it for, which is backups. Um, and just basically chucking some random images in there just in case you lose them and they're safe online. Um, not very good quality images either, to be honest. But that's Dropbox. Um, if you want an account, it's free to sign up. You just click on my link down below, or if you don't want to use my referral, and don't want to get the extra storage you can go to Google and just type in Dropbox and the top link is uh, basically what you need if you're on a Mac it, you've got everything that I've just shown you there so you get the little menu bar icon at the top but if you're on a Windows computer you can also download it there you go so you can Dropbox, Dropbox download for Windows and it installs it all for you and I think it puts in the bottom right corner uh, of the screen in, in the icon interface down the bottom. Um, so that's all free. That's Dropbox in a nutshell, and it's a very cool service. And um, I hope you get it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.